Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about decision tree and its uses in Pega. Let's get started into the topic. So decision tree is one of the decisioning rule that we have in Pega. So it's a rule declared decision tree. So you can find under records explorer under decision, decision tree. And these are the instances of rule declared decision tree. So this is the outlook of a decision tree. So just uh, like the other day I have explained about decision table. I have taken same example. So in decision table we will be having some rows and columns right. So here we would be having some steps like how we write our code in a Java or some other language. So we are having different types like decision, configuration, parameters, pages and classes, test cases specifications and history tab so under decision tab you can see here i have given like a param dot gender equals male then i have to return m so this is one of the statement i can write directly and you can see here we are having an option to select some of the expressions over here so when we are writing some code we would be having some scenarios where we have to handle so based on that we can uh, use any one of this and if you go to configuration tab if you uncheck this particular allow changes to function list and click on save and go back to the decision see here you can't see that uh, arrow button where you can select other function other than this so to get or to use functions you have to select this allow changes to function list so functions allowed you can select any of the functions that you want to allow in your decision tree these are the functions like compared to strings or some other thing and this is default function where you can select this if you did not specify any function you can select whatever the functions that you are looking for Suppose you want to use when rules, you can give role obj when and click on save and you go, if you go to decision, you can use some when rules over here. So this is plus icon where you can add rows and suppose uh, see as I have given uh, rule obj when it is asking for some when rules that are available. Suppose this when rule is evaluating something and you want to perform some action then returning something there are actually three return statements like then return so if you want to return some true or false or some other value you can give this otherwise if you want to continue it and you want to add some if else statement like that you can go with this and here also you can go with continue otherwise if you want to go with uh, if else and else you can go with this like this these are otherwise statement you can give directly over here now I am deleting this and this is show conflicts and show completeness so these two are the buttons like uh, to validate whether our rule has been built properly or not you can see the duration is, is consistent this completeness again so these are the uh, different combinations that it is looking for. In configuration tab already we have discussed about this allow changes to function list. And this is allow section to evaluate property option. And if you have a scenario to call other decision table or tree you can give this. And this is allow selection of additional written actions. So this I will explain you now. Now I am giving this one like allow function actions click on save go to decision and here we are having only return right now if you see there is something called as take action call decision tree map value map value and decision table these three rules we can call as we have selected those options uh, here if you want to restrict that you can just uncheck this and return action then take action if you go see you can see some actions button over here if you click that 
you can give plus icon and you can set some properties over here and here also you can see that it has given defaultly this set property equal to value so if you want to set some property or some parameter over here you can set it over here So in this way you can see actions button and you can change this not only one suppose you are having a criteria like when uh, gender is male and you want to return many properties like you want to set many values you can go over here under action tab and you can use whatever functions you want and here this is like uh, already we have discussed in decision table just go through that so if you want to set some more values if our result return this so you can give this and these are preset values which will be executed when a decision tree starts as execution you want to set some values you can go with this and this parameters tab where you can define parameters and uh, same like uh, decision table you can call decision tree from uh, an activity as well you can see here property map decision tree this is the method that we use to call a decision tree from an activity in this way you can go with this and in data transforms if you want to call a decision tree you can use obtain value function which will call a decision tree and you can pass parameters as well this is one of the most frequently asked in interview question and not only this from flow also you can call a decision tree You have this decision shape and you can see here decision tree you can go and you can pass the parameters and you can give some audit note and uh, and another thing here is under configuration previously we have only this set property value that's why we are able to set only many property values uh, when we select action so if you have some other functions you can give this just you click on add item and you can select the function that uh, you are looking for suppose here i have added like px add guardrail message then again you save and go to decision tab and if you go to actions see under this plus i can select any one of the function over here whether it is set property value or add message to the page and if you want to delete you can do it so in this way you can have multiple options under uh, actions and you can have and you can use multiple functions uh, by using this uh, particular checkbox hope you have learned a new concept today and uh, please share this video to your colleagues and to your contacts thanks for watching Thanks for watching this video. Please share, subscribe and like the videos.